from the depths of Chicago, live and direct, it's the Rico No Suave Show, starring Rico No Suave, with co-host Valerie Malesio, featuring special guests every Saturday. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is Rico No Suave. Primo. Get you some. Welcome, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the show, man. We are ready to go with each and every one of you guys, and hope you guys are ready to go because tu sabes, you already know it is, man. Those are octubre, man. We here second of October already, man. Wow. Just like you know, it's just it's just fall. It's just going by so fast. Thank God. Uh, cause we get closer to summertime for next year. Thank God. Uh, you already know. Yes, that's what we do, man. It's been a beautiful, it's been a beautiful week, everybody. And, um, you know, the weather report, you know, it's going to show you what we got later on. So, um, today, everyone, we're starting our new time. So we're going from 12 to 1 30 today. Um, and then actually we got some really exciting news coming up for you at the future episodes as well, too. We're continuously and always making progress for you guys as listeners as well as viewers to actually continue to support the Rico No Suave show. But you already know who's also on with me is my beautiful co-host, Valerie Malesio. What's up, Valerie? I love that intro. You love the intro? I did. Feliz sábado, mi gente. It is a beautiful day in Chicago. Uh-huh. I'm just walking into the loft today, just the sunshine and uh-huh. seeing, you know, it just feels so good outside because it's not super hot. It's right. got enough breeze going on. Right. I like the fall weather. Yeah, fall is you cool. Know? I, I mean, love fall the is fall cool. weather. It just, it just tells you exactly that summer's over. That's all it is. It, it just it, it, gives, it gives you that little saying, hey, you know, 80s spot here and there, and then 70s spot here and there, and then 60s spot here and there, and say hello, winner. It, welcome, it does welcome back. Start to go. The numbers do start to drop. But what but do you like about it? I, I mean, like the breeze. The I like breeze. the the breeze. It's, there's usually a nice breeze combined with the heat. The evenings are cooler, so you can do the little outside bonfires. Yeah. And it's s'more season, you know. Oh, so wow. you know, I mean, that yeah. it's cool. You know, I know you love the 80 degree barbecue weather. I do. Hey, <laughs> I do. Outside dancing, sweating, burning calories. Yeah, I mean, I, I like that. I'll that is it. You know, the dancing outside is definitely something that it's we're we're going to miss because we just barely got it back. Right. You know, right. so, but other than that, I mean, I love the fall season, apple cider. Yes. You know, all the pumpkin pies and, you know, pumpkin pie. Halloween right, right, and, you right. know, Dia de los Muertos is coming yep. soon. That's right. That's you know, right. so there's a lot going on in the fall too. Yeah. And you know, this month is Latino Heritage Month. It is. Right. So, you know, big shout out to all those Latinos that's out there representing. Who <laughs> sorry. Right. But yeah, that's, it's, it's good. All right, everybody, let's keep it going. We got our social media our social media everyone so we got our website that's coming up so our website is boom www.ricanosuaveshow.com that's where you find all of our information you'll find all of our photos and also our previous episodes as well too all right here's the next one boom at Rico no Suave show is our official instagram account so make sure you guys go there and be official with us Yes, I want you guys to follow <laughs> us, baby, because we're making uh, we're making a lot of changes. We're going to be putting up some great content uh, for you guys to continue to follow us as well, too. All right, here's the next one. Boom! At Rico No Suave Show. You already know Facebook. We still love you. People are still liking us there, too. We they still, still friends. They still, hey, they still love. Yeah, they liking us there still. still so that's what I really love Facebook. about it. I, that's what I really love about it. So I, I'm loving it, too. So thank you guys so much that's showing us a lot of love there on Facebook as well, too. Here's the last one. And you know, Mixcloud.com slash Rico No Suave Show. Share this link. Make sure people actually follow us there. Create that free account. 
That's what Valerie says. Free Create that free, account. free, free account, right? So don't because be, it, it's free. only free. If you can go on Facebook, you can go on Mixcloud as well, too, and do the same exact <laughs> thing. You can also use your Facebook account, too, if you want to log in. So mm -hmm. if you want to actually use that, please make sure you do so as well. All right. So we That's have... You know what we have? We have something called breaking news, everyone. Uh, it's a sad breaking news, but let's run that clip. Here we go. News. So we have a fallen state trooper that actually um, actually was involved in a shooting. And the shooting actually took place yesterday or the day before. Um, Gerard Mason um, was actually killed um, in a shooting. Um, I think he was 35 or 30, 35 or 38 years of age. Um, he was young. So, yeah. uh, and this was on um, 1994, the, the Dan, Dan Ryan, Ryan Expressway. So he actually lost. And, when I was reading at first, it said that it was a self-inflicted, right? self-inflicted wound. Um, and when I heard about self-inflicted, I'm thinking that he shot sure. himself. Yeah, that's what and it that's, sounds like. And, 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 and that's what it came out to be. Uh, we thought that he was actually in a shooting against someone else. He actually killed himself. Um, and <clears throat> they kind of talked about this, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of choked up me because, you know, for someone to like kill themselves over depression because you never know what people may be going through right um and it doesn't matter what industry you're in this man could actually been going through a lot of things in regards to either arresting or shooting or you know i'm just i'm so overworked i'm so over like overwhelmed with things that i'm doing that i just want to leave this earth one of the things about you know um human beings is connections with ourselves and we kind of talked about this as well too about how we feel about the of us being inside the world itself but also it makes a big difference in regards to who we are and what we do in this world to affect others um and i think that's what happens when it comes to depression in regards to things that someone may be going on in their lives and come to find out that he actually took his life. But what I do want to do is my respects to the family members, my respects as far as to him, and also for the services that Mr. Mason has actually done for um, Illinois as, as a state trooper. So we want to say rest in power, rest in peace. Um, and we love you, brother. We love you. I just wanted to double check his age. It said it was 36. 36. Um, he was 36. I think you said he was 38. Well, yeah, yeah so around, that that, around that age limit, right? Yeah. Around that age limit. So, you know. Um, but it was such a heart-wrenching But story. he's young, though. He's yeah. young as well, too. And I, I think one of the things is, is that for someone to lose their lives like that, you know, um, I had one of my other friends and um, my, my friend, Nefty uh, Cologne, he also lost a good friend, um, lost a good friend as well. And we knew him and, you know, out of the blue, he hung himself. And, and this is during the pandemic time. So we don't know if during the pandemic time, this had all ramped up to, you know, what, um, what this came about, you know? Well, what so. we do know is um, mental health is real. It is. And that is, um, mental has health is been a challenge real. and a struggle to bring to light um, the resources yeah. needed um, for individuals struggling with mental health issues. So mm -hmm. um, I think we need to do better as a society, yep. you know, on trying to help people or provide resources and get people the help that they need. Right. You know right. I mean? Because I think in the pandemic, it was just a double whammy. So yeah. you were not only dealing with these struggles, you now can't go and sit in an office. If you were seeking help, yep. it was changed and modified. And yeah. sometimes change, I mean, even for people, everyday people, change doesn't always come easy. So yeah. if you are struggling out there, you know, please get the help that you need. Um, you don't have to struggle alone. That's right. Wow. That's right. All right Welcome back to the show, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Woo! 
Your are boy Regano Suave. Yes, your boy Regano Suave. All right, let me go ahead and introduce this gentleman, man. Um, you know, he's an actor. I know that's one of the that's one of the main reasons why we're here. But this gentleman also has multiple of talents. I mean, like a plethora of talents. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I didn't even know this is um, a registered nurse, right? Yes, yes. Also, also he's a writer uh, yes. as well too. Um, he does. You know the acting piece is just just one piece of it, but yeah. we want to want we're going to talk about his story today. <laughs> but you can also catch him. He was featured in on the shot. That's he right. actually locked it down as far as the leader role in a raisin in the sun, Woo! right? Yeah. And that's a that's a big huge one that as well fun. too. He's also in Chase commercials as well. Um, so that's where I bank at. So I'm pr kind of proud that he's here <laughs> with us today. Uh, and then also some indie projects as well that was actually being done as well. I want you guys to stand up. I want you guys to put your hands and salute to this gentleman here because he puts it down just like that on the Rico No Suave show right now. His name is Danon Everett. Oh, yeah. Hello, how you doing? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, up, sir. Man? What's going on, man? man? I'm happy to be here. Man, I'm yes. happy that you are. Yeah, yeah. bro. I'm I, having a blast already, man. Man, dude, yeah, you dude. know, the pregame is always good. You know? <laughs> <laughs> good spot, man. I like I, you, I like the color of the shirts, man. Yeah. The, the brown and the yellow. That's a nice color. Man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Nothing hey. like fall, dude. Thank you, man. Yeah, you yeah. know, well, we're in fall all, all year round. Man, uh, you know, we fall love has the best clothes. The, yes, for God. that's true. Especially for guys. See, yes, he's sir. the yes, second sir. one to say that I'm, on this show about layering. You know, they get to layer in the fall. Dudes love. That. Yeah. So you yeah. know, get yeah. a little like, scarf uh, on. A good gift, ladies, for your dude for yeah. a fall, a nice little scarf. Yeah. Little, you know what I'm saying? A little, you I know, like, dress him like up. I like that, my man. My yeah. man, yeah. put it down. I like that. Man. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I like yeah, that. man, let's go. <laughs> Do this, man. So yes. let's get right into yeah. it, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Acting. Yeah. It's not easy for everybody to actually figure out how they want to become an actor right. or be able to get into that industry. Right. Tell us, how did you get started in the acting oh, man. industry? Um, uh, dude, have a have a passion. Whatever it is, well, passion, passion first. But if, if acting is your passion, yeah. then yeah. But you have a passion first. Yes. How did it work for you though when you wanted uh, to get so started? So this is how it happened for me, man. It was like growing up, we all like my mom bought us a, like a little baby camcorder, and we were just making <laughs> movies growing up. What? It was crazy. We we had I like GI Joe man, and we were just like man, it was it was it was called a PXL two thousand. Huh. If you still make it, I will. <laughs> Yo, it's called a PXL 2000. It was so cool, man. And we made movies. And so we goofed off a lot. And then, uh, you know, life happened. And I saw a post on social media about uh, open auditions for Raisin in the Sun. Nice. And I said, man, you know, I ain't doing that. And I always wanted to audition. So my brother, he was the actor. He was a, pro he was a professional actor. Okay. So, I, you know, I said, yeah, man, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go. And I filled out. I showed up. I never seen Raisin in the Sun before. Right. Okay. So I had to rent it. Of right. Amazon. Sure. Yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let me do a little right. research. It's like three different versions. Uh -huh. Oh, it's wow. It's like one with yep. Sydney, the original, mm -hmm. one yep. with D uh, uh, Dandy Glover. Yep. Which is a really good one. Yep. That's what inspired him and uh, and Puffy. And I heard the one with Puffy was pretty good. Okay. You watched all three of them? I w no, I only watched, uh, I watched two. Um, okay. The one with Puffy was hard to get through. So, so I, really? I'm curious. Okay. I'm okay. curious as we go back to your childhood, okay. right? Because the PXL got me. Dude, uh, I'm trying to tell you, man. It was a, it was a camcorder. It's a camcorder. Dude, I'm trying to tell you, so man. So let me. So check this out. As a kid, yeah. you know, we tend to play with things. It's not like technology today, right, but right. you know, we tend to play with things imaginary, <laughs> right? And try to figure out how we want yeah, to become yeah, great, yeah, right? Yeah. We so, just recreate movies. Exactly. Yeah, we but, did like um um uh, You did scenes. Lethal Weapon. We did Lethal Weapon. Nice. We did Die Hard. Okay. Oh, dude, we were clowning, man. So how old were you when you got I the... was uh well, you know, we were nerds, so right. like thirteen. So, thirteen? No, 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 okay. No, 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 no. It was, yeah, no, no. <laughs> It was like nine to eleven, yeah. Nine to eleven. Do you guys still have them? Do you have the movie? Uh, I'm looking for a pig. I don't know. Someone has it. Okay. Because because we had to put the little shorter uh, cassette into the actual recorder, and then we had to put that out and put in a larger one. They didn't even make that stuff anymore, man. Gotcha. But I'm gonna find it, dude. You have so to go like 13, to the pawn so, shops because and dig 13, something. Somebody, <laughs> somebody has it. Somebody, 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 somebody got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, oh, somebody gotta have it. Somebody so have. so during that time yeah. when you were actually at thirteen. Uh -huh. Now this was beginning of high school. Uh, man, I started. Okay, so okay, yeah. So no, well, 
like maybe sixth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade. Say, 13 okay. is not okay. high school. Well, no, no, I started high school at 13. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, because I, cause I started school early. Oh, wow. Okay. I okay. never get that. So I turned 14 in November, and okay. I graduated set at 17. I know. It was crazy. Oh, okay. I was young, dude. Yeah, I was young, man. That's love, though, uh, because not everybody has that, has that choice to be able to start school early. Man. Sometimes they start late or just start right on time, Well, right? if your birthday's in November, yeah, and, and I weird. deal with this because my daughter's in November, yeah. and she's a seven-year-old third grader. So that's like, <laughs> she's wow. a little bit ahead. You yeah. Know? Oh, she's ahead of the yeah, game. Yeah, because I was like, Whoa, I don't she, know went to, <laughs> she went to private school, so they oh, kind of bumped her up. Otherwise, I can, I can she was too rowdy. I mean, yeah. she got to be. Um, she oh, so be, I show up for the audition? Yeah. yeah. I show up for the audition at Raising the Sun. Yeah. I go, I say the lines, um, and that was it. And when you go read them, the director says, okay, you're dismissed. But they kept having me come read. So I read for like an hour. Nice. I read for all, all the roles. And I, and I was cool. I, and then I went to work. And like, a, like three days later, I was checking my voicemail. And uh, hey, this is Sydney Chapman. Sydney Chapman. Sydney Chapman directed Raising the Sun. Brilliant, brilliant. Woo! brilliant there you brilliant, go. Brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, Sydney, you know you, my girl. Straight yeah. up, I, I hope you big see shout this. out to Sydney. Yeah, Sydney Chapman, man, she was. Yeah, she's on it, man. Um, my hey, first... Sydney, if you ever want me to read something, let me know. Sydney, right. Sydney, <laughs> on the show, for real, she, man. She's a, she's yeah, she's give a her a shout out. She's, we'll yeah. have to look at that. My first feature film. If I get, I want her to direct. Nice, and I'm for real. I've told her that. Anyway, so she was directing. Okay. Uh, and so anyway, three days later, I, I'm checking my messages. Hey, this is, hey, Dan, and this is Sydney Chapman, blah, blah, blah. Just give me a call and give me some message. I was like, man, I must have did terrible. And then so I'm, I call her back. I said, yo, well, you know, I know it was bad. Uh, do you have any pointers? And she was like, bad? No, Dan, you did great. And she said, you did so well. You, you can have any of the roles, but I want to offer you the lead role. Ooh. Wow. Straight up, dude. And I was like, what, did, man? Did you have and to pause was, for a minute? You're like, And, and, and I was like, for real? <laughs> and she was like, yes. Um, and, then, and then I asked her, well, why me? And she was like, well, you did something none of the other actors did on stage. She said, that part where Walter is, is, is uh, yelling at his mom, how come you didn't yell at his mom? I said, well, he wasn't disrespectful. He was just frustrated. Right. So, and she said, and that's why you got the part. Man. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, so we got, check this out. So we got glad comments. You read, we got you, comments. You read right. those uh, movies. So my man, <laughs> DJ Rodrigo, that was on last week, he says, yo, what's up, DJ Rodrigo? Rodrigo. And then uh, Daisy24 is checking in with us. She said, bring fall on, need a little cool sweater weather and a change of color. I'm saying, uh, Hello, right. beautiful that's people. Right. Rico Larry. and Valerie. She's a handsome, oh, brave young man. Yeah. This is so heartbreaking to realize at the end, she was just talking about the trooper, trooper. Yeah. Uh, of the day is what we do put in our lives and on the line for us. I agree. Get a scarf, ladies. Do love accessorize. For real. Yeah, that's a good point. Ain't nothing yeah. like, man, ain't nothing like a woman in a scarf, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing like, it, wearing it, like, and really put together, I'm saying, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, um, so, I'm thinking, know, like, do I have scarves know, in my closet? <laughs> 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 I'm going to have to go scarf shopping. Scarf shopping. <laughs> Put together with the fall colors. Right, great, right. Love it, man. So check this out. Matching so there, gloves. So, you know, one of the things of, you know, because, you know, that was that was the future. This is right now, present as far as, I'm sorry, the future we got from 13 yeah. all the way up. <laughs> right. Uh, so I want to know what's in between. Uh, so <laughs> did you, if you have a... Um... If you could tell me, did you go through high school as far as acting? Oh, it's uh, drama club. Drama club. No, yeah. man. No, no, no. I, I, I remember I had a really good um, theater teacher. High school, man. We were all just acting, weren't we? All just acting. We were all just kind of get through it. You know what I'm saying? It was my, my man. That's my high school was crazy. I if we were all just like kind of like we were yeah. all just performing. Just you know trying to get along but, with everybody. But the class was, no, I, I never did it, man. You I, never took the class? Never. I wanted to. Okay. I wanted to, but you know what I'm saying? You know, it's confidence. And, every, and high school is all about confidence. True. Right. True. That's it's awesome. identifying yourself. It's, too, right. It's right. finding so you where you are. Yeah. That's right, man. But That's I right. think uh, in, in high school as well, too, it's almost as if you're acting to impress people sometimes, too. Right? I think that's kind because of what he that's meant. that's how it was. You know? yeah. You have the dating factor. You have the get along it with weird, other man. crowds factor. I'm trying to be cool. Trying to be cool factor. Yeah. I hated high school. Figure I hated out. High school. <laughs> I hated high school. 
I hated high school. I hated my prom. You know what I'm saying? The only thing cool about my high school was sophomore star night when I dressed up like uh, Jer- like Jerome from Martin. No, you did. Dude, didn't. I had like the man. I, dude, I, I had some platform <laughs> shoes. Anybody from Horseman, comment on that. Dude, I, got, I had the afro and everything. I was walking around. <laughs> Jerome to the house. Yeah, you were in we the tracksuit? We had a player's ball. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Comment. I dared anyone from 95. Yes, comment. Were you in the tracksuit? Uh, I was. <laughs> I had a vest. It was a lime green vest, right. lime green pants, some. Uh, white platform oh shoes my oh. and the butterfly house. <laughs> <laughs> Rose in the house. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome Woo! back to the show. Yes, we are here with none other. If you already know, and if you don't know, now you know. You my man, know, Dan and Everett know. is in the building right. with yeah. us. Like yes, Dan and like yoga, and I am lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, what did the but I will risk it all for a double for a blizzard from Dairy Queen. I, Woo, man, I know that's sorry, right. Man. Hey, we all I lactose know, intolerant. Know, if we're gonna do that. Yeah, yeah we we ready. <laughs> man, where's Get the older, new man, man. Get hey, older, hey, man. I'm telling you, Get man. Older, that, 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 that Dairy Queen is no fire. Joke, that Dairy man. Queen is ready, bro. Um, you just made another subject for the show. Right. Um, yeah, so before we go back, can we go to one of the comments here that we have? Ah, here we go. You do. So Miss Daisy said, "You are cracking me up, Dan, and very cute and funny." Hey, <laughs> hey, what's your name? <laughs> hey, <laughs> like what's your name? Hey, what's, what's your name? name? <laughs> what's your name, <laughs> girl? Leave the door open. Leave the door open, girl. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you know what? I can't take. <laughs> I can't take you guys <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> Oh man! All right, so let's I'm get that. Let's time. Get I'm having a blast, man. I'm having a blast. So you know, part of acting, man, there's always good influences, mm. right? Um, and there's also bad influences, yeah, right? There's, there's 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 different ones in all different types of industries. Yeah. Oh. What type of influence or who were your influences okay. in the acting industry that you that you looked up to, even when okay. you began with the P- uh, PXL, whatever, yeah, yeah, and yeah. also up to the you know up to today. Uh, <laughs> I think with um, uh, I think influences and I think they kind of go hands in hand with motivation too. Sometimes yes, things motivate you. Yes, sir. Um, and going uh, sometimes bad times will motivate you. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, people exposing who they really are will really motivate you. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Um, but like growing up, man, we were like, dude, we were up late watching Saturday Night Live. Like, All right. uh, when Eddie Murphy was on there, Phil Hartman was on there. Uh, yeah. when, uh, 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 man, I, oh man, Saturday, Saturday Night Live was killing it. And then growing up, it was, hey man, everybody gathered around Thursday night for the Cosby Show. Thursday night had the best lineup. You know what I'm saying? It was like the Cosby Show. It was like Different World. Yeah. It was, uh, it did. came on Thursday. Thursdays. You know I mean? And then so you just see it and growing up, we just be like, yo man, we could do some stuff like yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm getting into, I'm slowly getting into directing. And to, uh, and my first one I'm really writing right now is about mental health. All right. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, okay. yeah. The show, yeah. though, yeah. during that time of the 90s, yep. right? Yep. And and when Cosby Show came on, putting Pops, right? Yeah. You I'm, know, I think one of the things is, is that it was more of that perfect family. It was, dude. But also families that went through hard times. So because you can feel it in oh. acting. That's when you know, man, that person is such a great actor. Yeah. When you can actually That's feel what that yeah. person feels. Right? You know what? I got so a lot of people say, and this is what, and this is why acting for me has been therapeutic. But for me, like a lot of people say, well, love unites everybody. No, man struggle it does. and disappointment and heartache yes. that's what connects people yes sir you know what i'm saying yes, sir. and that's what everyone can kind of identify to. with you yeah. know what i'm saying i, I know because you know you've been hurt you know what yeah. i'm saying so things are you know you can have fun doing this but man when you hurt when you're going through something and then that's what connects people right. and you can bring that to life if you can tell a story yeah mm-hmm. that's what it's all about man so yeah i want to be able to be able th- to connect with some people on stage i agree right? with that i think yeah. that's why um roseanne did so well yeah, see, too, it, because they they were built on struggle. Yeah, and I, I didn't know Roseanne passed away. Did you guys know that? No, she didn't. Yeah, did Roseanne, Roseanne? Barr? Roseanne, Roseanne Barr hold, passed hold away, on. and we'll. I need you to look that up because I'm gonna I want to make that sure. Up because I saw something that says she passed two years ago, right? And and please, yeah, I yeah. think I just saw a post from like 
her in Hawaii or something like that. Yeah, I, I'm not so sure. So someone, don't. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and, and, but, but going to that, yeah. struggles off scene mm-hmm. and on scene Dude. Is, is kind of those influences of I'm going through some things. My acting is the real me yeah. at that point of time. Wow. So I think one thing is, is that when you talk about the influences and, and those Saturday Night Live, from political, joking about po- politics, joking about things like buckwheat and things, yeah. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood right. and things like that as far as, oh, the cops are after me because I'm, I'm a colored man, right. right? And things like that. But they had a way of actually putting things together right, and making it funny, but That's also right. making it serious yeah. as well, too. Um, the Cosby Show was just one of my favorites. It was, man. Straight up. That was one of my For favorites. Real. I can't talk about that show. It just hurts too much. Yeah, and it, it was other shows, too, though. It was, it was that I mean. That show just is disappointing because everything that happens. It, but, it is. But it did teach His legacy some, is tarnished, It though. gave you some life some, lessons. Yeah, and it, and it gave show. you something to strive for. Yes. Yeah. That's what it was. And yes. the same thing with uh the same thing with the George Lopez show. I thought that yeah. show was funny. He yeah. dealt with George real Lop- situations. Yeah. The George <laughs> Lopez show was hilarious. Yeah. For real. Love she's it. not dead. I just okay, looked she's it up not too. Dead? Okay, no, but so. I think what you saw was when they killed her on the show. Oh, oh yeah, they did. They kill, the she show. did die off the show. Two I'm sorry, ago, they didn't yes. kill her. She died off yeah, the show. Yeah, oh, they, they but she, off. she, yeah, because I was like, yeah, I yeah, I was, I was that hurt when I, when I read that. Yeah. I'm like, I know okay. that she had some issues in right. the public eye because yeah. yes. she's pretty outspoken, and sometimes her comedy rubs people the wrong way. She's always in trouble with somebody. Like if you, I think you, I think you, you can have any conversation if you can either make it funny or present it a certain way. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's what comedy, but I don't know if I can do stand, I don't know if I'm a stand up comedian. Yeah, I'm not that guy. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if I got, I've done stand up before and I Mm -hmm. did a, a pretty good in Portland. Uh, in Portland, yeah, I seen it. it's it's on my page, and I did pretty good. I just wrote the jokes, but I don't know if I'm that funny. Though. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm I think you because when we feel a certain way, yeah, it's kind of like you need those extra oh, yeah, yeah, for people to really <laughs> yeah, yeah. say either yeah. that's good for you or. You might find an actor or a comedian that's mm. an actor as well, too, mm. right. to be able to push you along that way. Say, OK, here's how you could actually put that in there, because I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't I didn't think Trevor, Trevor Noah, I don't consider him as a comedian because he's so much into politics. Mm-hmm. Right. But when he's on that stage, you want to right. think that he's talking basically about politics or real life stuff. And he's just kind of like. A talkative, yeah. let's laugh together type yeah. person versus I, I to a Dave Chappelle, Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence type. Yeah, deal. a polarizing figure. Yeah, they're polarizing. The yeah, some people yeah. don't want to. That's true. They yes. just love the person that's in the shows. Yeah, and then they go to the stand up. They're like, ooh. Lee yeah. Zamo was like that too. You know, Lee yeah. Zamo was just like that because as well stand up is they can swear. They can, yeah. you know, sometimes they're you know very PG on yeah. film, yes. and then they do this stand up, and you're like. I didn't Trevor know, Noah I didn't can talk about like that. Yeah, know? Trevor Noah, he's a he's a guy how he delivers. He can talk about anything. Yeah, I love. Trevor. He's not yeah, as polarizing as Dave Chappelle is, right. or right. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah, he can have, and that's how, and that's how you get things done. And he's yeah. got that little bit. Of, he's right. he's got a good flow of comedy. So he yeah. the delivery. Yes. It, you um, take it all in a bit in pieces. Yeah. Yes. You and, know, so it's not like an overwhelming uh, amount of information at one time. Right. Uh, right. That's right. But, right. But he does like the little yeah. comedies, you know, sp- but it's still awareness. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's yeah. And his, his yeah. So he's funny. He's a, a lot of a lot of good ones, man. Uh, but they say the best to ever do it as far as comedy was Charlie Chaplin. Everybody really? said it, because it was no sound. Because he had to do it with he, motion. And he did it with no sound. And and man, like everyone, like Chappelle test. Uh, he says it. Uh, Eddie, Eddie Murphy, Murphy says. Eddie it. Murphy yeah, I know said Eddie Murphy would yeah, say something like that because he was like, you know, yep. and he got wow. it done. <laughs> yeah. I never thought interesting, about right? That. Yeah. Right. And he Very and it was no sound. He was and and he and he had a long career. So and he and kept he his audience. Political. Yeah, and he right. kept his audience. He kept, he kept his, his audience. audience. Yeah, he was very political. Yeah, he was very political. So when you do your um, comic. You know, uh-huh. relief style uh-huh. um, acting, or or do, <laughs> when who do you try to model yourself after the most? Do you I, feel like you know what I just? I mean, I know you be yourself, but you know what I I say I think of fun. A lot of is is really comes out around nursing. You know what I'm saying? A okay. lot of funny situations around nursing. <laughs> I can imagine. It's so many funny situations. <laughs> I'm sure. Yes. About nursing. Yes, sir. I can make a joke about putting a finger up someone's butt because that's what we have to do. 
that's it's part of the job. It's part of the job. Right. That means I have to Heather. literally put my index finger <laughs> in your anus and stimulate you. <laughs> Look at me like, yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, that is what. That's you got my whole job. crew in the back. Like <laughs> that is nur nursing. That's nothing, man. Dude, that's Dan and I think the whole audience just clinched right now. <laughs> Dude, I mean, for real, I, it was late, and I had you to. kind of reminded me of Peter Griffin when he went to Ooh. go and get his tussie. He was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <goodness. laughs> like, no. For real, yeah. for real man. It was a lady, man. I'm telling you, the lady, she's like, and she, it was, she had a very, very debilitating disease. Mm. However, there are some funny moments. You can find in there. I'm not talking. So it was like I had to come in, and she said, "Well, I can't use the bathroom, and you and no one and none of the nurses are doing it, and you have to give me 30 seconds of dig stem, hmm. digital stimulation." Yes, yeah. I think so. We got that. And, and then, so I was the one, and so I was the only one that's doing it, and so it's like she knew when I was in the building. She'd be like, "Dannon's here," <laughs> and so she'd be like, "Where's my dig stem, Dannon? Dig stem, Dannon." <laughs> You just gave yourself a nickname for life. Ditched you. And, and so she died. Unfortunately, she died. Oh, oh, I did not. Man. Dude, I felt dirty. Yeah, I'm afterwards. Sure. I'm but sure. you I know what? I think in that position with <laughs> nursing, especially in dealing with people, you oh have to find the comic relief in that. You, it's it funny. gets you through the day. Oh, you know? it gets you through the day. Yes, it does. <laughs> I am on a roll. <laughs> but I mean, work, man, like, yo, it's so, so, so many funny moments. She's like, ditch them. And I was, I was trying to, so I was, I was going into work like it was the quiet place. I'm like, like <laughs> she's like, huh, Dan's here. Ditch <laughs> He's like, where's my sunken spot? Hold on. <laughs> where's my sunken spot? I'm going to my oh, second that's spot. So, funny. <laughs> so you know, I'm sorry, man, but sometimes the shows get I can't keep it on track because so many funny things come Tell you, man, I'm trying to tell you. We go from influences to ditch them. <laughs> ditch them. <laughs> ditch them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was like, I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, so, so tell so me this, man. Do you want oh me to go God. on to the next question? Oh, my God. For you? you know what? No, no. no, no. Do out. you want me to go on? We <laughs> don't need that. Out of here. Do you want me to go on the next uh, question? No, no, because we were actually on the influence piece, man. Yes. On the influence well, piece. I asked because, him. Because Where Saturday Night Live. Guys? No, Saturday Night Live, you know, and Bill Cosby, <laughs> uh, different world, talking about the college era and things like that. You know, I think one of the things is, is that during that era, it was also about the style of clothing that we wore, mm. right? During that time when we watched it, we were like, dang. Yeah, like the Gordon Gartrell. Dope. Yep. The Gordon Gartrell. When um, Wayne Wayne over had the flip of the yeah, glasses. Yeah, they were very stylish. That's right. Man, That's right. you know what? That was crazy because I've always wanted uh, uh, wanted some of those. Really? And that was on the hip hop era. Yeah, right? was. That was the hip hop and era. And he made them famous. And he right. made them famous, sure right? Did. So you used to see. Tony, Tony, Tony used to wear those too. Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. <laughs> yeah, they used to wear those, yeah, those different shades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, different yeah. shades as yeah. well too. So during that time of influencing when it came to, when it came to acting, acting, you talked about talk shows you're talking about i mean just regular series mm -hmm. what about movies oh man <laughs> man some of the dude when when um when rocky four came out Ooh, yeah Rocky. man rocky four that whole franchise uh terminator good. 2 man yeah. like growing up it was like indiana jones dude yeah. so like, action so films and action and it was um um but now now i'm able to appreciate some of the uh films that that weren't action now because we we would skip past the sure, kids sure and whatnot but um also other influences it was uh uh carol Burnett. she was funny man. oh yeah the carol, yeah, Burnett she show. Was. Yeah. carol Burnett show was funny yeah. um benny hill benny hill, hill. Benny oh hill. man benny that hill. was hilarious you couldn't watch that at 11 o'clock at all because dude. my mom would tell me to turn my tv off it was so, it was, those it was late shows it was those like, late like shows. it's the only british show that we, that was coming on and yeah it, and it came on really late <laughs> <laughs> like three o'clock in the morning. It was Benny off Hill. Yeah, oh man. my God. Benny Hill. Wow. Just like Carol Burnett. And he was really Mama's funny. family yeah. was funny. Mama's family. Mama's family. Mama's family. Yeah. Mama's family. That's right. That's right. Benny Hill was like, I think the only one which was also kind of, they tried to compare to uh, Mari Pantine. 
So when Monty Python was actually coming on during that time, Monty Python wasn't as sexual as as Benny Hill. <laughs> That's all he was. But he yeah, exactly, <laughs> he was just a dirty man. He was a dirty he was. Man. But, he, but you know what? He was, he was he funny. So was. It was hilarious. It was. You know, with the they made for like guy, some yeah. perverted guy. guy. Like yeah, like That's why my mom told me you got to turn that off because yeah. it was just too much. <laughs> right, and then she's like, you, why "That's you why it's on at eleven that? o'clock." I'm like, "Mom, it's not even about him actually being nice. It's just the way he did it. It's just and he'll speed things up, yeah, and make things go slow. And he'll look at the camera like." Like that, and you're like, oh, this guy is OC. Yeah, like he he's funny, just man. out of control. And then Monty Python used to come on and have those, but I think that was kind of the era in the British because they were really exposed to showing their body. Yeah, they're yeah, it's a completely different culture. It's a it different is. culture. It is, of course, yeah. it is. And um, Western views are a bit. Yeah, we're a bit. Yeah, <laughs> we're yeah, we're a bit behind the times mm -hmm. for real. And I think that's what makes Trevor Noah so. Welcoming because he's international. He's got yes. a way of though his, his way of thinking is way different. Yes. So, but I yes. love his perspective. Yeah. Because when he talks about being in this country, and just in comparison, like what's what confuses him, you it's, know? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It he, makes you think, like, wow, that is kind of crazy. That he we do did a Mexican Jedi joke. It was so funny. <laughs> 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 I was like, this dude is hilarious, man. So, yeah. It, so, yeah. Hey, so we, we have got, a couple comments yeah, in here. Yeah, comments, yeah. Um, yeah, so Daisy, uh, Daisy uh, she heard your little shout-out earlier, and she said, it's Miss Daisy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Miss Daisy, if you're nasty. Oh! <laughs> no, she didn't say that. Um, but <laughs> um, then she was commenting on your nurse joke. She's like, oh, hell no, the finger. Oh. <laughs> Please, you, man. <laughs> we, we do worse than that, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Daisy also goes on to say, uh, Benny Hill, that was a, Benny Hill was naughty and funny. Some of those skits with and the, the ladies. ladies. Right, yeah. and the ladies. Yeah. Yeah. They would, he would get Very canceled Very inappropriate. Now. He would get canceled now. I didn't yeah, say, he yeah, a lot of stuff. Yeah, he would get canceled yeah, now. Yeah, but you know, like, what? You know what? Martin no, probably would have been canceled you know, if it was airing who? now, Martin. Or in Living Color. Some of the stuff they did. So, but Maybe it wasn't as, been... as deep as Benny Hill, Here's though. Thing, no, he was bad, yeah. He was bad. Yeah. Yeah, some stuff is just yeah, some stuff is just a wall. Either, yeah. I mean, but if it's if it's funny, here here how hell it was explained to me. So it's wrong for me to talk about to make fun, to make a joke of a funeral. I can't do that. But the person attending the funeral can say something funny about it. It's weird because you're in it. So yeah, there? so it's not like a, yeah, you know. So it's real, but me, if it's funny, it's funny. Well, dude, we grew up with the, you know, what I'm saying, we was, man, yo, man, yo, mama so black, she can, um, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, man, your mama, yeah, so that man, the your mama joke, yeah, that oh was just make people cry, though. yeah, yeah, you were people like, yo, you get sent home if you, hey, those yeah. are the those are the corner jokes, that boat, and then you start running home, somebody if you ain't about crying. that the about that mama joke life, yeah. don't even get don't into even it, get into right. it. Right. <laughs> get yeah, you better be practicing all yeah. day. So people, people will you know cry. I understand home. people Mama. are sensitive and I understand all that, but yo, like yo, it needs to you 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 still need room to operate. True. Okay. Art. True that. So True kind that. of like you it would have True to be done in first person. Uh yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Um I understand that. I mean it, yeah. nowadays you don't really know. It's, it's, it's hard. Everyone's so... I love the era we grew up in. For real. It made, for real. I love like, it. I tell people all yeah. the time I in love our it. era for because yeah. 70, well, 80s, uh -huh. 90s, uh -huh. 2000s. Halfway through the 2000s. Halfway through the, halfway the, the first halfway half. To, yeah, yeah, halfway through yeah. the 2000s yeah. was no still the bomb. It was still the bomb. It like, really was. It, it, you, yeah. you lived through those eras yeah. and was like, I'm so glad Dude. that I was born Dude. in those uh, Dude, and was yes. living that, man. Some of the most iconic music came out in the 80s and the 90s. Too. Oh, yeah. It, to me, the 90s is the best. Even the, even the fashion. Like, the, fa the yeah, fashion yeah. as well, too, yeah, just to yeah. see how it went yeah. and just see how it changed. And then also to see how it comes back retro as Dude. well, too. Yes. Like, some people still dress like that. Mm -hmm. And I love that because it keeps them unique. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let's yes. talk about one of the things that... Yeah. You know, we want to circle back with because we talked about the state trooper, yes. um, but yeah. you know, mental health mm -hmm. is is everybody has mental health issues. Yes, everyone. Does. Everyone, everyone has. does. Every, and there's everyone every, has. Yes, sir. Mental health issues. Yes, sir. Yep. Tell us a little bit about. Um, okay. The whole thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share a little bit. You yes, may sir. need some tissue. Sure. It's okay. Um, I'm uh, I was uh, I was married for seven years. Okay. And my wife actually passed. Mm. from uh, breast cancer. Sorry so to hear that. at the Sorry time, to hear that. Uh, the 
kids were six, five, and three. Okay. Um, and I had to hit the ground running, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to, I had, didn't have any help with the family, or I had some help. Um, and it was, a, it, it was an adjustment period, and it's still an adjustment period. And, but mentally, it was, man, it's like you, your, your mind needs time to adjust. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. your body will always tell you when something's wrong. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people uh, don't feel comfortable sharing things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was a many times, man. I just sat in the car. I was like, man, this is seriously. Because you have these thoughts. Like, man, this is not, you know what I'm saying. People think about ending their life. Right. The thought comes. Let me tell you all something. The thought comes. It's about entertaining the thought. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's with anything. Sure. Yes, sir. People with mental health, they have, you know, they're, they don't get the resources. Or it's taboo. In the, especially in the black community, and, mm -hmm. um, and uh, especially in the Asian community, mm -hmm. it's really taboo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you some yeah. Uh, shout out to my boy Will, William Shaw. Big shout out, um, Will. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, man. So I had to. Uh, it was some times I needed some time for myself, and I couldn't get it because the kids needed. It. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So so many times, and this is how easily depression sets in. So one day I was just laying around, and the kids were uh, hungry, and uh, they said, "Daddy, I'm hungry." I said, well, okay, I'll be up in a minute. And then I got to thinking, like, man, I can lay here all day. I'm tired, you know what I'm saying? But it's, and uh, I looked up, it, two hours had passed, and I hadn't gotten up. Mm. And I said, if I don't get up now, then it's going to be hard for me to get up, man. So it's easy. Depression comes in so easy, man. So you got to deal with that stuff, man. Right. You got to have conversations. You have to have conversations. And yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's those uh, um, moments, just as you mentioned, mm -hmm. though, you know, recognizing the fact when you – can't push yourself anymore right that's where that right. when you don't have anything left is. that's right you know and that's you're right. like you still had it in you thankfully to say i have to get out of bed you know sometimes it, it people get to that point where they don't have it in them anymore have, right to push themselves to get out of bed right. i had to make know? a decision right then and there right you know what I'm saying? So and you uh, recognized it and uh and so it's been um yeah so i had to really uh take some time to grieve uh take some time to myself um allow the kids to um, go through their thing. Because we take therapy as a family. Yeah. Yeah, man, Good for we you. go. Yeah, yeah, we just um, um, That's great. I found a person, and that didn't work out. I got another person. So, yeah, we, yeah, man, we're all about that. For Good. real. You got to be able to talk. Because I don't, I can't give them, you know what I'm saying? I can't give them what they're missing. So, at least we can talk about right. our stuff together. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. It does. Yeah. And how did this experience Man, how, shape you with it's your still, career? It's, it's, it is still shaping me. But and that I, that that's what fuels me. That all that stuff I've been through. That's what. And I just found a way to channel it. You know what I'm saying? Make it positive. Absolutely. Some just some people it. use whatever. I just we found don't a, we don't found need my it. niche. An outlet in acting. So yeah, and yeah, so. It's been Congratulations on that. For real, man. I rough, mean, man. that is something very and much all the to single be proud dad, of. I'm telling you, man, everyone's out there, man, especially single dads. Yo, man, just you can still follow your dreams, for real. Yes, sir. You can still do that, man. Yes, and still sir. do all those things. Life can be crazy. <laughs> life can be terrible. But you can still make a difference in somebody's life, man. Yes, sir. For real. I, I think when it comes to, you know, lessons learned in general, when it comes to mental health is when someone passed. Like when my father passed. Mm -hmm. Um, recently this year, m mental health of what you do during that time of mourning mm -hmm. and then the memories behind it also, you know, kind of helps you recuperate of the good times you had, right? right. right. You then also you look at the bad times too, right? Mm -hmm. Because the bad times kind of teaches you as to how do I continue with life of things that I had bad times as far as with my dad, yeah. right? And and sometimes it hurts, right? It hurts because you relive those things sometimes. Do you think you, um, wasted, uh, you, you kind of, well, you wasted time with your dad, like not calling him those days you could have called him. You know what I'm saying? Making the extra yeah. effort. Yeah, okay? sometimes. Because I would have married my wife way sooner. Mm -hmm. And looking back, out, and then I would have married her like sooner and then, and then didn't waste time on the argument. You yeah. know, that's kind of okay. hard to say because... But that's just me, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, hard, to, it's yeah. hard to say during yeah. those times of if you get in an argument with someone yeah. and you don't want to talk to them, yeah. is that wasted time 
of not really picking up the yeah. phone and saying, I'm sorry, let's yeah. talk through it and go through that. I mean, what? I felt like that. I mean, I lost my mother to breast cancer as well. And she she was 60 when she mm. passed. So she was fairly young. Wow. You know, so I, I had those moments that you mentioned, too, where I was kind of like, wow, you know, you start thinking going down memory lane. Yeah. But I hit the ground running, you know, I had to fly out there, take care of everything. I didn't kind of deal with it at that moment. Oh, it took like, then wow. I came back, yeah. my kid, you know, and then later on I kind of yeah. dealt with it because you're answering questions, you're dealing with so much stuff at one time. Right. So I can see where it can get overwhelming. Yeah. See, the, honestly, I don't think I, didn't, I, don't, I don't think I fully dealt with it. Seriously. I, and I'm honestly. It's, it's ongoing. It's a process. It's just, it's like taking a class no one else is taking. Right. Yeah. You, you get yep. all this information. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. people, you know, and people do what they can. They care, <coughs> they care up me. to a certain point. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But people, because people got lives. Yep. You got your own stuff going. You, you, you know, you got your own stuff going on. Mm -hmm. So you right. just got to, um, and it just so happened, man, I just, I just, it was motivated. Yeah. You know, the kids were like, yo, because they like, it was, it was crazy, man. One, one, one time, uh, they were still babies. It was just so much. You gotta have me back, man. Yeah. You gotta have me back. So anyway, the, we were talking. One, the, the, the kids were watching Veggie Tales or something. <laughs> Veggie Tales. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was asleep, and uh, and there, and then like like ten seconds later, they they come in the room crying. I was like, what is going on? And and, and in the in the in the, in the Veggie Tales cartoon, the father had died. Mm. And they said, well, Dad, well, we don't want to lose you, too. I was like, oh. oh and that right there, man, yeah, that, that part right there, I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. And that's right there. So, you know, um, I made some mistakes. Yes. I'm not a perfect dad. I try to be. We're human. I am runner-up for Dad of the Year every year, though. I am, man. <laughs> so, yeah. I try, man. I try. I really try. It's not easy. It's not easy, man. No. Third of the it's not easy. Most of the battle is just effort oh. it's mental awareness <laughs> it's mental it's, so it's effort mental. dude it's you really have just to have doing it mental fortitude yeah <laughs> but see if you think about this i mean having kate like i had nine nephews that i grew up raising okay. because my sisters they wanted to go out and hang out with their friends no kid, and i man. always nine? loved to nine wow. right my sisters and brothers they they actually had kids and then i was always you know un uncle rico to actually go and be around with the kids and hang out. I had my old 79 Chevy Malibu. Yes, sir. Uh, Earl Shry <laughs> Blue. Yeah, you know I mean, Earl Shry. <laughs> you know what I mean, Earl Shry, $99 <laughs> if you don't really know, right? But everybody wanted that color blue when I had it, you know, <laughs> represent with a little bit of pops on the back end for a little sound so because it's always so clean, it. clean. Right. Right, right. Ice right. cream on the back seat. Right. Ooh. Ice cream. On, oh, man, man, man. Hey, you know, you, Ooh, know you, you were the fun right uncle when the, uh, when the actual silly star falling what, apart. Was right. that your first car? That was my first my car. My first car was a uh, 87 Delta 88. Woo! Shorty boy. Shorty oh, boy. Oh, man. Oldsmobile made some of the best cars. Oh, dude. man, dude. For real. <laughs> and, my, and that was the only Chevy that I ever had. Really? Of the 79, the classic, right? Yeah. And I said, hey, I, and people were like, why don't you put some rims on there? I'm like, no, nah, I don't want no rims on there. I want to keep the hubcaps. That's right. Keep clean. the hubcaps, keep it clean. clean. Keep it because that's how I grew up. Yeah. My father kept his cars clean as well as keeping it the same. Yeah. Right? He yeah. said that's the that's the whole logistics of the car, the value of the car. You yeah. start putting rims on it, right. you take the value that's out right. of that's it, right. Right? That's right? I mean, but I'm like, listen, I ain't trying to take the value. I said I want to keep that Ooh. the way it was. So my nephews, I used to take them out. We used to go have like lunch. <laughs> we used to have we used to man they love my car because they used to have the bass going and the music going and we used to have a great time doing so. But that mental awareness that we're talking about is how do we keep, you know, them active mm -hmm. as kids? Because you got three. I have four. Four kids. Four kids. So imagine as, you know, as a parent, right, Dude. you have to go through that. But think about what our parents have to go through to teach us what we need to do. And out of respect to my parents, yeah. because there was no talking back to my parents. Right. There was more of that discipline of hey, this is the way it needs to go and go from there. But all fairness, right, they would listen. But it was a psychological thing because I was trying to figure out how my parents even knew the answer to that. And then <laughs> I was the one trying to figure out what the answer was. I'm like, how do you know that, mom? Like, oh, then how, how do you know that? Right? It's like, well, listen. I mean, we are magic. How, right. how long were, were your parents married? Over 50-something no years. No kidding, dude. Yes, sir. Yeah. Are yes, people sir. still doing that? Yeah, they no. mean... Uh, I, <laughs> It's sorry. amazing. <laughs> like, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Think I go to Amsterdam. <laughs> right. <laughs> all day. <laughs> Amsterdam all day. <laughs> so you so I think people are every now and then like I don't know. So I, I we talked we kind of talked about this. Let's go to, to the mental awareness as well too. <laughs> that, <laughs> you gotta we be we you gotta be mental to get married. We yeah. don't we don't you mental your enough. mental part is how does that work with people that actually gets married and being able to go through the problems, the struggles of being together and being there and waking up to the same person and also understanding their traits. It's the characteristics behind this, the yeah. personality connection. Yeah. Um, and, and what yeah, they value and, and what they what? value in that and marriage. Right there. In that. So um, if my wife hadn't died, we'd still, I'd, we'd still have been together. Yes, sir. Um, Blessing. But some of the best conversations we had was when she got sick. Mm. Like, cause she was like, there was no filter. Yeah. She would like some of the conversations she would have with her parents. I'd be like, do I need to be like, like I needed clearance to be in this conversation. <laughs> right. It was like, I, yeah. Y'all yeah. talk about some. Heavy I can stuff. go sit over there if you want. I'm like, to I'll be yeah. downstairs. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> but the, con- but um, uh, the connection we had. Yep, you know what yep, I'm saying? Yep. Cause she knew what she was facing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, the transparency. The transparency. The honesty. Yeah. Because at that yep. point, she wasn't going to waste any time. And she was straight with me, man. She, was, yeah. she would say things that still rings. And so, um, I don't know, man. I think, it's, I think it still exists. I'm a hopeless romantic. So. Yeah. You know, um, I can't remember who said this, um, but there was a quote thrown out there that said, you need to kind of die in order to really understand how to live. Wow. Right. And I didn't under. I was like, I don't know how you die and then live. You know what I mean? But that exactly what you said is the reason. Yeah. Because wow. unless you're faced with that, yeah. you don't under really grasp the value and then how to embrace yeah. every ounce of life. I yeah. didn't even, yeah, like I was a care, I was her caregiver for like two years. And it just, and so it just like, and it never clicked. And then when a person is gone, like the, I don't think the brain actually makes a connection like this person is no longer here right mm. and she got the memories the smell because the body you know so so it's just interesting man so it's just it's you know and you have to take time for yourself i didn't right. take time to myself yes, sir. so healing is a process man. all day grieving it's a slow process. Is a process yes yes um dealing with loss yeah. dealing with right. um you know other challenges yeah. and and you know, a lot of mental health has to do with life situations, yeah. scenarios. Some would even argue that it has to do with nutrition. Yeah, you know yeah. The, what we're I, eating with I our, think in it's our food. Connected. Absolutely. But I think you know? when it comes mm-hmm. to on that piece of nutrition, which mm-hmm. is important, that's why our parents tell us when we get depressed, if we don't eat, mm-hmm. then we need to eat something yeah. because it eat eats. Something. It eats. It, it eats. <laughs> Go figure. It'll it eat at you. Us. Have you ever heard that? Your mom like say that? that? It's going to eat that. away at it's you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. Exactly. That's <laughs> like um, that's like a person gave me, um, Jeff, it was like, um, when you, like, when you hate somebody, it's like, it's like you taking poison and waiting on them to die. Right. Mm. The when anger. Hate yeah, when hate you hate somebody. When right. you, it's eating away at you. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, my mom always told me, <laughs> yeah. don't say that word, right? hate. Right? Yeah. Don't say that's it because you don't hate. Word, right? right? Don't right. You don't hate people. Yes. You just don't like them. <laughs> Did and your I'm mom like, ever have crazy, like, sayings? Yeah, stuff like yeah, that. yeah, my mom has that. My mom my used to say, too. don't cut off your nose to spite your face. Uh, <laughs> I used to be like. I would say, uh, <laughs> what? if she can't use a comb, don't bring her home. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she would say, don't cut off your nose to spite your face. <laughs> I was Meaning that. What, either she bald head or is she, <laughs> or is she just <laughs> got the nap. I, I mean, like, <laughs> if she can't use a comb, don't bring her home. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it, dude, it took me 30 years to figure out what my father was saying growing up. Really? Dude, and he was like, go get my beast sign. I was like, your beast sign. I was like, be Santa? I was like, what? <laughs> and, and, and he was saying, oh, yeah, but be Santa, my be Santa, my, my be Santa. I was like, what in the world? What is he talking about? And then, uh, <laughs> and then I, I remember, and then I heard my father's very country. Yeah. From Louisiana. Love you, dad. Country. He, boy, he country is red dirt, man. I love it. <laughs> and then he says, he says, he, it's, he was it. saying beach sandal. Be Santa. Be Santa. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> Is that, I feel that I was at work one day. I was like, man. Oh, He's like, is that a vitamin? Sandals. What's he asking for? Is that a vitamin? Dude, it was looking funny, on the show. Growing up was hilarious, dude. It, man, my dude, we, dude, we, we, 
Dude, we, we had dogs. <laughs> we, dude, we, 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 we had dogs, cats, uh, ferrets, gerbils, hamsters, ducks. <laughs> Dogs, dude. We were, dude. Our, we were weird, bro. <laughs> no, I it, it, you know it's funny yeah. because my parents actually had like my mom on my mom's side, um, and on my mom's side, I didn't realize on my mom's side that my grandma was Native Indian, and I didn't know that until like three years ago. Okay. My mom comes out and say, "Mom, why are you keeping these like secrets away? Like <laughs> I've been with you for I are don't you know how many." Yeah. So she told me that, and. If you see my my grandma, mm. her name is Daisy, mm. right? Um, it's it, you can see the feature. I'm like, well, oh, that's, your grandma. that's not his <laughs> Daisy. Oh, grandma, I'm sorry, grandma, grandma. I didn't mean. <laughs> we gonna call her Respect. grandma Daisy. Respect. You know. <laughs> it was not grandma Daisy. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> this is Miss Daisy. Oh, well, that's Miss I, Daisy. I get down with the Cougars too. You but know it's crazy mean? because they actually had they they lived in the city and they actually had a farm. Did you have you ever done the genealogy thing? The, the no. Uh, you need no, to. No, no, no. You need to do I the DNA thing. That, I, I did mine. Yeah, dude, I was thinking about that too. I was thinking about that too. Yeah, because they, um, they checked the whole tree, right? Yeah. It is interesting. Dude, I always get asked yeah. if I'm Nigerian. Yeah, all the acts that I was in Dunkin' Donuts and this lady was behind me, and I was behind. I just finished running and she was and 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 I was in. She was she was in front of me. She was, she kept doing this. <laughs> 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 I'm looking like what's wrong with this lady? She's like, Are you Nigeria? <laughs> and I was like, And you said something? I was like, No, I, ain't, I ain't, I'm not. She was like, And then. Yeah, because I was, I get it all the time, dude. I get it all the time. So, yeah, yeah. Right? He, he is Dan and Dan. All right, trying, man. So, trying. Yes, let's talk about, let's talk about a raisin about. in the sun. Raisin in the sun, yeah, raisin man. In the sun. Um, uh, it was just a 50 year anniversary okay. uh, for nice. um, for the first black playwright on Broadway. All right. Based out, it was, yeah, based on her own life. Uh, man, Sydney Chapman, man. She, she, she took a chance on me. For real, because she was like, and she let it be known. Oh, there were other more professional actors than you. <laughs> she let me know, but she was like, but, but she said, I believe you could do the role. So we had, uh, uh, we had eight shows, okay, eight total shows, and this was at the Northwest Theater in uh, Northwest Indiana Theater, okay, in Gary, uh, wow. brand new theater, very nice. Let's put man. up one of the photos. Very nice, man. Very nice. Um, we had eight shows. About five thousand people came out total. All right. So it was dope, man. And the moment, the, and when I, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that was, the, that's, yeah, that's, that's me right there. That's, yeah, that handsome man, yeah. right there. Look at that there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And first time acting, man. First time. It was, and I loved it. And yeah. my son also actually got to be in the play with me. Really? Did he? Yeah, yeah. I forgot to. I don't. I so forgot. what role did he play? He played my son in the play. Oh, oh there wow. you my go. Son played my son. Yeah. yeah that's, yeah. Go figure. That's what you say. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Well, there you go. You passed on the <laughs> yeah, acting. Yeah, and he loves it, man. So it's uh, it was I, uh, it was yeah. I love every part of it. So this is refresh. Okay, I got a lot to talk to you about, yeah, man. Yeah, this but is raising in the sun. Raisin, yeah, yeah, running the sun. Let's I'm sorry. With that one. Yes, raising the sun. I'm excited yes. too. Sorry. <laughs> I'm all over the place, Amsterdam. I need someone to call me down. <laughs> yeah, someone call me down, Amsterdam. <laughs> okay. So, you know, this one, this is a different one. Let's bring up the other Raisin in the Sun Raisin photo, the sun. right? Because there's, there's a, there should be a few of them um, that, that we actually have about three of them, right? Yes, um, so yes. we, got at least, we got at least three of them. Basically on the stage. Yeah. Okay, so, so this is, okay. Um, yeah, so this is towards the end. Um, if you don't know how the play goes, the family inherits... The, the father of the family dies. The family gets $10,000 from the insurance money. Walter, the new patriarch of the family, takes the money and he spends it. He loses it. Okay. Because he wants to open up a liquor store with his homeboys. He gets burned on the deal. Yeah. Wow. So, um, and so, uh, and they were supposed to move to another neighborhood and all these things. So, yeah, and that's the whole gist of it. There were actually um, three plays. It was one based, there was Clybourne Park that was based on, 50 years from it's it's weird but raising in the sun that was that's the one so all the they built all that set man all that, that set is the bomb it's because that so set detailed. is like old school yeah. the couches I kept the pants too i did did you <laughs> i kept the pants you kept... sorry i kept the pants i did hey hey yeah. i'm telling you it's we groovy. still rock those yeah. you know? i still got some brown ones man i still yeah. rock those not just on halloween <laughs> right i just on halloween <laughs> <laughs> it was fun man it that was... couch though yeah that all couch I'm telling you, Dude, they every me. grandma had a couch like that. Yeah. But that couch was like 
so soft to watch and uh, like to watch TV on. Dude. You just want to lay on that couch and yeah. watch TV, huh? I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't know if your grandma had one of those, but sometimes our mom also had one too that actually had the plastic over. Oh yeah. I the think plastic. every house had that couch. Plastic, look at the man. look at the wood trim on the bottom. Yeah, all that, that says ain't. it all right Dude. there. That they little wood trim on dope. the bottom of it. You knew that that I was the couch. Yeah, and the, and the old school um the old school um the trim as well yeah. too. That that had Okay. All right. So, it was cool. we're about 10 minutes left of the oh, show. Man. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I know. Okay, 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 okay. So, that was ding, a race in the sun. Yes. Congratulations yes. on that. Thank that you, sir. was that was the bomb. Yes, sir. So, the other one that we actually had was um the the fresh one where you were at the bar. Refresh. Refresh. Yes. Refresh. Okay. Okay. Let's pull refresh. That one okay, refresh is yes. Bright Bright Cap Productions, Ashley and Dallas and and Mason and all you dudes, love y'all. Yeah. Uh, Bright Cap, Bright Cap uh, is the production company. Kloss Productions, the, the guy Joe, he wrote this. Okay. Uh, and it's a sci-fi thing. We're about to, we filmed it, we cut it, and we we shot, we made a short film, and we're gonna put it to a film festival. So what is, uh, I don't know if you could talk about what it's, uh, what it, it's what's about. It like, deals like a, with a teaser multiverse. Okay. The multiverse. Okay. And um, how lives, parallel lives, exist on different worlds. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, and this is a scene. This is a pretty dope scene. We shot this in Roselle, Illinois. Okay. Man, it's maybe two black folks out there. Right. Maybe two, <laughs> maybe two black folks in Roselle. Me and the dude who do, who do the trash. I don't know. <laughs> not, saying he do, not saying the black dude doing the trash. What I'm saying is only two black dudes out there. And, right, and was, so it was great. That is David. David, you are, that's David Bianco. Bianca, okay, yeah, that dude okay. Is, yeah, man, what's up, Dave? Yeah, uh, yeah he's yeah. a really good actor, man. So, uh, and acting is about just making connections. But what's what's I, the scene? This, this scene was. Scene is, where was um, this at? This this is this is at a bar in Roselle. Uh, we rented out the bar for the day. Um, Remember the name of the bar? No, I don't. No, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so sorry. No, you good. You good. All at Amsterdam. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going to Amsterdam for sure. No, 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 no. So, um, but. Um, <laughs> But because of, uh, but this uh -huh. re refresh was because of Sparky. Now, okay. Sparky, Sparky is a, a, a uh, we shot a pilot. I was part of a pilot, Bright Cap, um, out of Rose Illinois, a show based on the trades. Okay. It's like, think of The Office. Yep. Think of uh, Park and Recreations. Um, yep. And so we shot it, uh, and it's been winning in film festivals. Nice. Oh wow! Uh, we got, Congratulations! Uh, right, yeah. so uh, we've got um, we won um, best uh, best comedy in a indie film uh, indie film festival in Chicago. We're in one in Houston right now. We're in one. We won in California. We won in the we won in the UK. We're back in the UK for another one. So we're about in six or seven. Uh, when winning in film festivals now, it's a really good. I gotta send you a clip, dude. I, I, I don't know, man. Cause it's, it's, <laughs> it's sparky. Uh, go to Bright Cap, Bright Cap Entertainment. Okay. Bright Cap, go oh, check Bright out Cap yourself. Bright Cap so we're so we're, we're we're literally waiting on a call to film the first season. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right. So and I play the foreman. Okay. That's right. That's right. The black man in charge. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my boss is my boss. My boss. But but still. But no. But man, uh, these guys, uh, uh, Dallas. Ashley, these yeah, man, they're they are the real deal. So so yeah. to get into plays like this, yeah, you know, uh, to be able to get into short films, yeah. um, like this, you know, kind of gives you that journey of getting to the big film, yeah, right. See, so I think there's a process that yeah, I'm with a you talent agency have. and everything. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm with Lori Lynn's talent agency, and they send me stuff, but um, uh, but backstage, Sparky, I found on my own through Backstage.com. Yeah, like, backstage. Yeah, backstage. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah, I just yo and I uh, went and I answered. Oh wow! Yeah, you know who I hear that from? I hear that from a few actors actually. Uh, Marquise was one of them as well too. That yeah. we talking about that. Yeah. That's hot. I do a yeah. lot. I get a lot of work off backstage. Oh, that's Sparky, hot. Sparky. Yeah, uh, and through Lori Lenz, I've got I, I booked the shy and stuff. But yeah, but they create us. They give us that that room to work. Yeah. Bright cap does. How was so? Speaking of the ones that you have done. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, because you did a play of the raisin and uh, a raisin and a sign, uh-huh. um, and then you start. You were on the shy featured in the shy. <laughs> oh, wow. That featured in the shy was that kind of um, an episode where you were kind of the lead actor, uh, or was it something that I did they, have they, dialogue? They, I did, did have you? dialogue. Okay. I was talking to the mayor, so you can see me on season four, season finale of season four, about the eleven minute mark. Okay. I'm the reporter. So, yeah, and, and I got a lot of screen time. Did a lot you? of people, and it was dope, dude. It was okay. dope. So, okay. yeah. Uh, and I and I just got I just got cast for this movie, uh, McKenzie. Um, man, I got I, I got I this is my first time. I got to bring the right information. Yeah, that- <laughs> I, I'm in like a ton of I'm in tons of stuff. I don't have anything. I'm just, I'm it was, it's it's not it's, okay. it's, it's not until you start talking about yourself you're like, "Oh, That's wait, when you start I did this and I did this." <laughs> Yeah, well, oh, we yeah. definitely, we definitely gonna have you back dude, on the show. Dude, do you? You gotta come do the Sparky premiere. Okay, yeah. I am game with that. You gotta come. We do definitely, we absolutely. Do no Suave is doing the Sparky premiere. I first season. We'll work it out. We'll yes, work sir. it out. Yes, we'll work sir. it out. We'll work I, out in contract time. We'll work it out. <laughs> <laughs> man, so you know, I mean, a, a lot of things that 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 you have came to do. Yeah, man. Uh, up to this point. Is why we have a gift for you. Oh, right? come we have, on, man. We have Am- thank you, we Amsterdam. Have some, thank you, Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm uh, you I'm know. Hey. So, so you know, I have a shirt for Ooh, you. Ooh, I love shirts. Yeah, Look I have a shirt for oh. you. And um, you know, this, you know, the one thing about us giving out shirts okay. is, you know, there's a meaning behind it. And you, of course, being an actor, uh, right? Yeah. And you know how you, you kind of sparked it. Go figure. Um, you kind of sparked the conversation of where we've been actors ever since we were in high school. Very true. Right? So when we are, when we're destined for something, we don't know anything until someone calls us out on it. You kind of asked us about, you asked me about how did you start this? Yeah. I said, well, you know, it took three people to tell me that. Right. It took three people to say, you should be on TV. You should be on radio. Yeah, and I'm you're like, very good. Really? At this. Thank you. You're Thank very you so good much. It's very but, comfortable here. dude. But this is why you're here because of what we're doing mm-hmm. and seeing the talent that you're telling us in your journey of being on the shy, but also having that pit PXL when you actually <laughs> had that when you were younger to where you're at now. And then you find the lead role in a raise it in the sun, which is not easy to do no man that's been film that's been a play that's hit the scene that's been a movie of millions of people have seen yeah but to be able to have that lead role is such a great accomplishment on your resume or portfolio to be able to say this is one of the reasons why you made it this far and and continuously progressing to the stars above i try right bro. and try, my bro. my guy yeah. you know my guy and also troy sandix big shout out to my man troy, troy. Uh, i digress right i digress Excellent podcast yes Excellent. If you want your business, Troy, he will take your business to the next level. Yeah, Troy is a real dude. And we're doing great things as far as with Troy as well, too, for Troy the show, great, right? Um, but this shirt here, man, it just tells us a lot in regards to us recognizing you just by listening to what you have to say today, it, man. man. And your energy. It, Keep man. that energy, man, because this love shirt is just going to vibrate every time you <laughs> wear Hey, man, I love the, wear, I like the colors. I'm a fall dude. Just give me the shirt, man. Give me the shirt. He's like, give it to me already. Blah, 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 blah. No. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, good shirt. It sounds like the no. Geico commercial. <laughs> Yo, maybe. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Look at that damn. Look at that damn. Give it up, my man, Dan. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, man. Give it up, man. <laughs> I, mean, I don't even know what else to say, man. It is, you know, my man, Dad, and hey, I want to thank you so much man, for being on the it's, show. It's man. over already? It's it over is, already, yeah. Man. Unfortunately, it is over, it's man. Cool. One thirty, baby. You, you need a TV spot, man. You need to, like, you need to, like, dude, you need, like, like on TNT or something. Thank you, on man. TBS. Appreciate we'll that. We'll start in the wee hours, 2 yes, in the morning. Yes, sir. Right. That's okay. That's cool. okay. It's That's cool. Okay. And the midnight swap. Give me the contract, there, and I'm good. I'm dude, good. you got to come do the Sparky. You're doing we will. Sparky. And we're going to talk I'm, about that. You think I'm playing? I'm not. I'm not right? playing. I'm not dude. playing either. The Sparky's right? for Everybody else in the audience here about this, too. Straight up. So Sparky. We got, we got it on video. Witnesses. Yes. Right. We got yes. witnesses. You got to come I heard it. I love it. This is great. Last question. We know you love Amsterdam. But do you love? <laughs> but do you love Skippy peanut butter? Man, I love Skippy. 
you y'all disrespecting not having the crunchy up here, dude. <laughs> hey, we creamy, so we creamy and crunchy. This is I'm we a, creamy I'm, and but we we we, dude, we represent man. just we love Skippy. He said you disrespectful. You guys are crunchy up here. See, so disrespectful. Get some crunchy up in here. See, so it's it, it's I, you know both, yeah. right? The creamy. It's on certain days, and then the crunchy. I like the crunchy, days. but you know, it kind of messes up your on bread a, sometimes. On, like. on sunny days, <laughs> I like my Skippy with warm milk. <laughs> <laughs> but no, man, this will solve a lot of wars. Yeah. Sk- if you have a conversation about crunchy and smooth, then you ain't got to get it, man. It's just, you get lost in the peanut butter. Right. <laughs> Skippy. <laughs> Send me a check. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's put up his social media. We got the social media for your Facebook, I'm so, man, everybody. I'm not good at this, man. That's I need okay. A, I need a I need a, uh, yeah, it's Bro Gorm, yeah. Bro Gorm. So make sure you follow him on Instagram, yeah, everybody. Bro Gorm, yeah. So make sure you follow him. And then on uh, Facebook, yeah, yeah I'm Facebook, I'm saying, I'm we just, got Dan and Gorham. Right? It'll be there, yeah. There just he is. want you, yeah, it's there. Dan and Gorham. Dude, man, thank you so much for being on the show. It's time to go. Man, I'm like, I ain't got nothing to do. Let's keep going. Let's do another hour. Amsterdam. Uh, <laughs> everybody, put your hands together for another hour. Hey, man, man. Yeah, dude, this man. is great. Thank you so much. Got for being some here, show. bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah, I man. appreciate you, man. Yeah, such a good time. time. This is not the last. No, it's time. not. I will see you next yeah, time. Yeah, That's you will. Show. You know what? Let's put you on the calendar yes, right now. I'm right, trying right, to tell right. you, man. Wait, dude. <laughs> yes, yes. It, we will work everything out. I love it, man. All right, everybody, I want to thank you guys so much for being on the show. It was my man, Dan and Everett. Once again, put your hands together, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Next week, everybody, you know we got to get out of here, but thank you guys so much for being on the show with us. We had an exciteful show, and next week's going to be even better. He's doing great things. Um, His name is Jose. Jose Diaz is going to be here uh, from the Puerto Rican Cultural Center. He'll be here talking about how he's building up Humble Park and how he knows all about a lot of famous guys as well, too. So stay tuned. We're going to have another great show next week with my co-host, Valerie Malesio, my production assistants in the building. But everybody, thank you guys so much as we end off the show. Just like